In this video, we're going to talk about how to make a line graph in Excel. So here we have two columns of data. In the first column, we're measuring the time in hours, and in the second column, the distance in kilometers. So to make the line graph, highlight the data from both columns. Next, go to the Insert tab, and then if we go here, where it says Insert Line or Area Chart, if you hover over it, you can see the different types of line graphs that you can make. You could even make a 3D line graph or even an area graph. But I'm going to choose something else. I'm going to make a scatter chart. We can have it without the line, just the points only, or with a line. Let's choose that option. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to resize the graph. Next, we can adjust the title. This is going to be distance versus time. Now, if you click this button here, the plus button on the right, you can add different chart elements. You can add axis titles, data labels, error bars, grid lines, a legend or even a trend line. So what we're going to do is we're going to add the vertical axis title and the horizontal axis title. So let's edit the horizontal axis title. Let's call this distance in kilometers. And now let's move on to the horizontal axis title. We can call this time and that's going to be measured in hours. So now we have our line graph, but we're not going to stop there. Sometimes, let's say if you have a lab report, a chemistry or physics lab report, you need to get the equation of the line that best describes the data. So here's what you need to do to get that equation. Select the chart, click on the plus sign, and then go to tread line. So we're going to select the tread line box and we're going to get the equation of that line, that additional line that you see on a graph. So let's click on the arrow on the right of tread line and we're going to go to more options. Now we already have a linear tread line, so we're not going to change that. But let's select the checkbox display equation on chart. And so now we could see the equation of the best fit line for our graph. Now, if you want to change the size of it, simply highlight the equation and then you could change. Well, let's get Y in there as well. But you could change the font to whatever size you want. So we'll leave it like that. And then you can move it around wherever you want as well. So that's how you can get the equation of the line in Y equals MX plus B format. So the 71.56, that represents the slope. The 63.74, that's the Y intercept, but it's negative 63.747. Another way in which you can get those values is you can type in, you can use a slope function equal slope, select the known y values, press comma, and then select the known x values. Close the parentheses, and you get 71.563, the number in front of x. So that's your m value. Now, if you want to get the y intercept, type in equal intercept, and then select the y values and then the x values. And now we'll give you the y intercept. So that's another way in which you can write the equation of the line. You just have to replace this number with m and this value with b in the equation y is equal to mx plus b. Now there are other things that we can do as well. For instance, you could change the color of the chart. 
if you click on chart styles not only can you select a, a different style but if you go to color you could change the color of the chart now if you double click the line you can also change the color this way you can change it to any specific color that you want we need to select the whole line so you can make it red orange green purple whatever color you want you can also change basically the size of the graph as well you can make it thicker so there's a lot of options that uh, you have here. But that's basically it for this video. So now you know how to create a line graph, and you also know how to get the equation of the line that best fits the data.